Good afternoon. That, that would get some views. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to the Trade Travel and Committee meeting. Trade Travel and Tourism. Let's not forget tourism. The number, I mean, big impact in our city. Um, today's Tuesday, June 5th. I'm joined by uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Bonin, Mike Bonin of uh, the 11th. I'm uh, Chairman Joe Buscaino. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge the Executive Director of the Port of Los Angeles, Gene Soroka, for joining us here this afternoon. Uh, thank you, Mr. Soroka. And we have three special guests, our new interns for the Port of Los Angeles during, with the Summer Intern Program uh, out of the um, Commission Office. you got Eileen, da Daisy, and Alyssa. So please rise and be acknowledged. Welcome. Thank you so much. Have they all learned to say waterfront development? They know. That's two words. Two words. Thank you, Mike. But enjoy. Um, we welcome you. It's going to be a great summer for you. You're, you're in good hands with uh, America's Port Director and um, Julie here and, and uh, Maricela. And I think Eric's going to give you a tour, I'm, I'm told. I still hope he knows his way around here, Gene, but we'll, we'll, we'll test him. But if I can direct your attention to the agenda, um, we have multiple um, cards that have been um, completed. So at this point, I'd like to bring up Wayne to speak on all your cards. And uh, three minute total with one minute general public comment. And please um, stick to the items on the agenda. Otherwise, you'll be asked to leave. Of course, and I'll tell Sam you are young that too. So number one, Lucia Moreno Linares to replace Samuel Leung on the board of Harbor Commissioners. No. That's not on the item. It Speak is on number the item. one. Last warning. Asshole, it's number one. See, number one, council commission. So what's the difference? There is no difference. Don't do it because he's the criminals here. You don't want him. Number two. Another victim, Cynthia Telles, to the airport commission. No, 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 no. Too much trouble. You don't want to trust these assholes here because they steal the money. They don't pay you to be on the commission. What they'll do is they'll rat you out to the FBI like Joe Boscaino did to Janice Hahn. So no one, number two. Now number three, look at this shit here. Plumbing and industrials. What city in America does it have a phony fucking plumbing contract? It started in Chicago in the 1890s and continues to this fucking day. No one number three. No more plumbing. Take the shit and dump it in the ocean. Yes. Number four. Resolution. Waiving the conflict. No, no, no. You know what's going on here. What's a conflict? Stealing. Yes, that's right. That's a fancy name for theft. So we don't want to waive colonial yacht anchorage. Take your fucking boat and sail away from these criminals, please. This is terrible. And then number five, we get down to the 15th district where there's a lot of interest right now in the 15th district because you have the DA down there, the FBI, and the Department of Justice looking at the Board of Harbor Commissioners. Yes, steal, 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 steal. And then they're going to close the ports of call. Why are they going to call the ports of call closure? Because the developer said so. And one of them was Samuel Leung, the CB's project developer. He told you all, Fuck you, I'm building my 362 units, even though it's incompatible with the plan. Fuck you, $600,000, no democracy. Fuck you. And then Jackie Lacey comes in and goes, I'm sorry, you can't use a hundred different people to launder all those campaign donations. I think it's unfair. I think Samuel Leung is the victim. The real bastards here, this genius here, is the guy, he put the gun to Samuel Leung's head and said, give me the money, bitch. He complied, and now he's indicted. Terrible fuck you. Okay, next up. Herman, same thing. Three minutes total. Two on your multiple items. And one general public comment. CD15, bro. We're talking about the Board of Harbor Commissions. You know what goes on down there, bro. 
campaign donations relative to a resolution. Yeah, you know, bro, we're talking about authorizing the proposed Sixth Amendment, but in reality, we're talking about the 40, 42 USC 1983 First Amendment, which we do not accept terms under rent revisions under sea breeze, bro. I'll tell you why. Because you've been extending the term to that stupid motherfucker by the name of Samuel Leon, L E. N G U N, whatever the fuck way he spells it, fucking Nazi. Stick out to stick to the item, please. Right, right. I'm trying to specify those so-called new improvements to be constructed by the port. You know, we have uh, Eric Mantel here, and he knows exactly what the administrative exemption is under Sika, but he doesn't know what the fuck I'm gonna do when the FBI comes down on his ass looking for those campaign donations that he took from development. But I. I still got more time. Let me just go on to the next fucking item. Yeah, you see here on item number two, the mayor has a relative reappointment of some fucking doctor. But this doctor doesn't realize that you ain't going to get paid for none of this fucking shit. The only time you get paid is when you're embezzling money and stealing like you heard earlier. Steal, 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 steal. That's all these motherfuckers do be stealing. So that's one of the issues. And then under the so-called um, redemption of... Uh, yeah, that woman, what's her name? Lucia. In English, it's spelled L-U-C-Y, but the dumb bitch spelled it L-U-C-I-A. Lucia Moreno for the Board of Harbor. That bitch better watch her panties because there's some bad shit going on down there. And the only way you get something on your side is someone sticking it up your goddamn back. Now, general public comment is this. We have campaign donations. We have money laundering. And we have Joe Buschiano the rep of CD15, who alleges that there was no fraud, waste, or abuse. But yet he ratted out Janice Hahn. Janice Hahn had nothing to do with it because she was in Washington with some cunts. I don't know who she is, but that cunt told me personally that Janice Hahn has some action with Joe Buschiano at the port. Now, I look back over my shoulder and I see Eric Cook rubbing his eye. For all I know, he know what the fuck him and Weezar did down there too. The same way who's our fuck Francine Godoy, his field deputy, and now you're going to set Eric out with three women who don't know what the fuck he was doing with Weezar? Okay, anyone else here that filled out a card like to speak now? Please come forward. Okay, seeing none. Mr. Bond, if we can um, make a recommendation to take items three, four, and five on consent, unless you want to hold any of them. Nope, I'll go with Okay. Me. And also, um, we'll approve items three, four, and five on consent and send that to council. Um, on item number two, uh, Ms. Tellis couldn't make today's um, committee, so we'd like to continue that. Item number two, which leads us now to our final item, and um, item number one. If you can read that into the record, please. John White, City Clerk. Communications from the Mayor and the City Ethics Commission relative to the reappointment of Ms. Lucia Moreno-Lenares to the Board of Harbor Commissioners for the new term ending June 30, 2023. Commissioner, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, you have been asked. Um, the Mayor's looks like wants to reappoint you to the Commission. Tell us a little bit about what your experience has been thus far. Um, since you've taken on um, the role um, back in September of 2017. Um, the community was excited about this appointment back in the fall. Your family was ecstatic. Um, really proud moment for the Wilmington community and for the entire port um, and the Harbor Area community. So tell me, since this last fall, since we last saw you back in September, what have you learned, and um, what do you envision the next uh, four years till um, your term ends in 2023? Well, it has been uh, an, an interesting um, past seven months, uh, challenging. It's been a learning experience. I, um, every day I'm becoming more aware of the complexity of what this machinery that is the port mm -hmm. and, and the business that happens there and the, and the people that make it happen. Um, my respect for, 
for all the different departments and, of course, for our, our director, Soroka, um, keeping all of that together. And, and there, there are, so up until now, I still haven't met even everybody there. It's like every day it's like, oh, there's a department for that as well. I mean, there's just so much um, going on. Um, and I think uh, I, I have, I'm so impressed with, with all of these people that, that coordinate their different departments or different programs to make the port function you know, as one big, big um, machine that it is, one big corporation that it is, one big entity that it is. Um, it's challenging. Um, the decisions that have to be made, um, even even when they're good decisions, um, um, you sometimes you're, you're building something for the future that we know is good, that it's something that we want that will benefit the community. But at the same time, to clear the ground for that, you to make way for that, uh, the the effect that it has on others. So, for example, the the, the demolition of Portugal mm -hmm. to build the San Pedro public market. You know it. Once it's built, it's going to be a, a grand uh, project that will benefit not just the community where it's built, but all around. Mm -hmm. But but to build a foundation for that, you know, there there are there are people in businesses uh, that are affected now, and those decisions are hard, but they still have to be made. Sure. It's been fun uh, attending uh, the events that that the port uh, puts on for the benefit of the community from from fairs to movie nights to fleet week um, all of these are things that um, are a way of uh, getting people to know uh, the port to become familiar with the people that work there with the businesses that are part of the port uh, but it's also a fun thing because you have to have some fun and um, in, in it's enjoyable to go uh, to hear Sometimes uh, people don't uh, appreciate, you know, what the port does. Sometimes all you know is the bad consequences of what happens w with the business of the port. Sometimes, like just earlier today, you have to listen to stuff that, you know, people that don't know you judge you and sure. say things about you. And sure. um, and it it's um, not just when someone's being dis disrespectful to you, but then you have to be disrespectful in in my case in the sense that I'm just going to ignore you and that's not something that I would normally do I'd like to give you the time and listen to you and treat you with respect but some remarks you just have to ignore hmm. um, and oh, so sure. it's uh, <laughs> you know that, that part is interesting I'm right. I'm excited I'm um, it has been a pleasure working with my um, the other four colleagues that we have um, such uh, intelligent people that we have, caring people, yeah. uh, people willing to serve. So that part I, mm -hmm. is, is fun. I've, so in fun. the next, I mean, let me applaud you and your colleagues on the commission for um, putting forth some really game-changing items and approving based on the, uh, the, court's re the, the port staff recommendation. One most recently is finding a way to diversify the port with bringing in and approving the, the lease with SpaceX to manufacture and assemble the, the Big Falcon rocket. Uh, that's a game changing for not only the, um, the Harbor area communities, but also this entire region that's going to really, um, it will bring in up to 700 employees to the Harbor area. I want to applaud your effort in that. And on the goods movement, um, working alongside um, Gene Soroka, you and your commissioners uh, approved. Uh, the ability to uh, bring more um, or find uh, ways to um, uh, not expedite, but um, if you look at how we're move how we're moving goods um, with the the entire the the, pl the the project of bringing the GE data portal on creating more efficiencies is something that I applaud you and your your colleagues in supporting that effort under the direction of, of, of the port. Um, what do you foresee in the next few years of any other opportunities, any game-changing um, initiatives that you would like to see in the next several years? Well, I think you, you mentioned a couple of them. So the, with, within SpaceX, with Altacy, actually, you know, things, projects actually happening there. When the public square is actually up and running and all the businesses are there, 
um, when the Wilmington waterfront and the promenade are completed and all of those become locations that in the future, you know, other developments will be willing to come yeah. to that area because they see the investment that is being made there and, and how it's improving and see the potential for, for other businesses to come there. I think that's going to benefit um, not just us locally, but every, everybody is going to benefit from that. Um, to me, once those kinds of projects start happening, it, um, you're, you're going to see a port that is tr thriving, um, but it's not thriving only in a big ship arriving full of containers, sure. but there's all this other kind of commerce happening there, and I think that's, that's wonderful because even the little person will get to have a little say or be involved in mm -hmm. that, uh, will get a benefit from that. So I, I look at that. Um, I look forward to the day when you go down to the, to the harbor and <clears throat> there's a plate for you to walk or bike, place for you to eat and that you're welcome there. Yep. Um, so I think those, those and, and those things don't happen immediately, but all of, for all of those things, um, steps are already in place for that to happen. Sure. So that part's exciting. Um, I think that the, the direction that we have of trying, for example, like the GE project and where we're, where all businesses that deal with the port will um, have a way of, tracking what is coming, be able to make decisions earlier, um, that's going to benefit people, people's times. Um, it's going to benefit the air, the, the noise that we see. Just a lot of waste is going to go by the wayside. So th those, those kinds of things are good. And as more, um, more businesses, more terminals, uh, and other ports, it, it, we're going to have an impact on port, uh, or are already having an impact at other ports in other parts of the world, and that starting here mm -hmm. at the Port of LA, I mean, with, under the direction of the people that we have working mm -hmm. there. Um, I think we're making the world better, and I, that, that part, you know, I'm excited about it. It's yeah. good. It just reminds me uh, how important it is to have a Wilmington resident on this commission. Yeah. And I want to thank Mayor Garcetti for um, putting forth this reappointment, because um, you're on the ground, you've lived there, you were raised there, you have family there, um, and it's important. One thing that um, I, I know you mentioned on the Wilmington side that you're seeing some of these projects prior to your arrival, but I ask you to you know, put the pedal to, pedal to the metal and full speed ahead, and I would just ask that you direct the port, and not that they're not mm -hmm. moving, but remind them that you want to, I know you want to see the shovels in the ground and they have an extensive timeline that they are following mm -hmm. and uh, I, I know they've been big partners of ours to deliver um, a credible waterfront for the Wilmington community and for the rest of the city. Um, so with that, thank you for your leadership and your commitment to continue to serve on the commission. I'll turn it over to Mike if you have any questions. Commissioner Arian, treating you okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Rise up, Wilmington. Rise up. <laughs> All right, so we have a motion to to move uh, the reappointment of Ms. Lucia Moreno Linares to the Board of Harbor Commissioners, and we'll send that off to council without objection. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate thank you. When, when can we expect this in council? Do we know, John? Ms. Moreno Linares is in council tomorrow. All right, fantastic. And you can tell Gene to put his pedal to the metal right now. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah. It's on the record, right? It is, it is. Thank you so much. <laughs> So with that, uh, that was our, our uh, final item, and we're uh, now adjourned. Thank you very much.